Welcome to this week's edition of the OCU Athletics Update. I'm Andrew Himes, and this week we're talking to Superstar Athlete of the Week, Taylor Booz, and women's basketball coach, Rob Edmison. Taylor Booz, senior from Duncanville, Texas, is this week's superstar. She averaged 10 points and 4 assists a game this year, helping the Stars win their sixth NAIA National Championship and is the NAIA Tournament MVP. Cool, cool. Congratulations. I'm Thank so you. excited for you. Um, I guess walk me through that last game. Um, well, I mean, it was a championship game. You know, it's right. all or nothing, and I figured it's my last game I'll ever play as a college athlete so I mean you might as well go out with a bang you know so I just tried to give it my all and help my team do whatever we needed to do to get a win. And uh, on top of that you were named the MVP of the game tournament what you know what kind of honor is that to you? Um, I was really honored I, I definitely wasn't expecting it like it, it was kind of overwhelming because like I never really been in that position as a MVP of almost anything so uh, when they when they called my name, I really wasn't expecting it. So I, I kind of had like a little breakdown, but I mean, it's all, it's all right. You know, there were tears of joy, so I'll take them. Uh, I think you averaged 14.8 uh, points in the tournament, and you you said you, that you weren't even expecting it. Why why weren't you expecting it? Um, well, in the conference tournament the, the week before that, I, I didn't shoot it well at all. So um, when we got back, I really just kind of got in the gym and worked on my shot a little bit, and uh, I figured my last tournament, I might as well, you know, have a high shooting percentage. So I did a little work on my jump shot, and luckily it started falling for me in a tournament. I mean, uh, just a little hard work, I guess it yeah. paid off. And then, I mean, you were here last year, and I remember being at the game, and you guys were in the Final Four, came so close. And, you know, this year you made it all the way, and you won, and it was a huge win, you know, on top of – everything um, I guess you know the team and your coach you guys have kind of you've had a lot of extra motivation this year um, talk about why it's so special so much more than just a game and a national championship title um, well last year we made it to the elite eight and uh, we I think we all feel like we came up a little short and that we could have definitely advanced further into that tournament so um, going into this year like starting in the summertime uh, all the seniors really just got together and we kind of came up with a game plan of how we wanted this year to go and how we wanted our last year to end. And so we all kind of just uh, hooked up with the rest of the team and let them know, you know, these are our expectations, these are our goals. And at the beginning of the season, as a team, we set goals. And um, I think they were uh, conference champs, conference tournament champs, and national tournament champs. And I mean, uh, every day we went to practice, coach didn't let us let a, let up on us any. Uh, he pushed us every day. We worked hard. I mean, I, I can't remember of any days that we just didn't. We just took a day off and didn't give it our all in practice. I mean, and it showed in our games. You know, our games became fun. Um, practice was sometimes not as fun, but I mean, I guess that's why he pushed us so hard. And then, uh, yeah, we did have a little extra motivation, you know, with coach and uh, Corbin, um, but that just that just helped us motivate us and push us to even want to get this for coach too, you know. So uh, when we got to the national tournament, um, I mean, it wasn't it was no such thing as losing. We didn't we didn't even think of that, you know? <laughs> um, especially after that first game. Uh, we we were there. Might as well stay there and finish it. And then when we got to the championship game, coach just told us uh, that we didn't have to be special. We just had to be us. So we just went out and played our game and. I Came love back that. With the ring. You don't have to be special. You just have to be yourself. Yeah. And I mean, what an incredible way to end your senior year. National title, MVP. Um, but it's you know coming up close. You're going to be a senior. What what does your future look like? Um, yeah, I'm definitely considering myself blessed. You know, um, like you said, MVP, national tournament, get a ring, hang a banner, all that. And uh, I mean, I am graduating in May, so. I mean, I, I give all glory to God and, you know, my mom, my dad, my family. But um, I don't know what's next. Uh, hopefully I get to go, get the chance to go overseas and uh, play basketball some more. But if not, then uh, I'll put my degree to use <laughs> and uh, find a job somewhere doing something I love. Well, it's a win-win either way, right? Yeah. Well, congratulations again. So glad we got to talk to you. And uh, coming up next, talking to the coach, Rob Edmondson, um, and his thoughts on this huge win.
there's a call to be answered. The spirit of competition is still alive inside. The desire still drives. The phrase student athlete has a great ring to it. Lasting friendships are ready to be made. You just want to keep playing. Game on. Learn more. Here on the OCU Athletics Update, we're talking to women's basketball coach Rob Edmison. The Stars just won their sixth NAIA National Championship. Coach Edmison is the National Coach of the Year. And, Coach, I know that during games, especially with teams like you've had over the last four or five years, you really try to stay within the moment in the game and not look too much at the scoreboard, try to keep the kids interested. But about a minute left in that National Championship game, you could see it on your face. You yeah. knew yeah. we are national champions. Uh, describe that feeling for us. Well, it's kind of surreal. And I don't know if it's really even sunk in uh, with our staff and even some, you know, our players if I've talked to them. And, you know, you work so hard and you have a, such a single purpose of a, a focus of a goal and you strive so long to get there. It was almost a relief more than a, a, a an overwhelming joy of excitement that you would think it, you kind of relieved and then fatigue sets in real quick and you're just tired. And I know the players were tired, you know, from a staff standpoint, you know, we were tired mentally and, you know, just all the work that gets put into that moment. And then when it happens, it, it, it is more of just a relief to know we finally got it done. Taylor Booz just talked to her. It was named tournament MVP. Lauren Gober led the way in scoring for, for the entire tournament for your team. Those two players talk about their impact on not only the tournament, but the entire season. Well, and the great thing about our team, and we've said it all year long, is that uh, the strength of our team is our team. It's the fact that we don't rely on any particular player to have to do certain things every night to be successful. And uh, you can look all year long that we've had different leading scores. People have played well at different times and some people have been in a slump. But our team never slumped really. And that's a big thing. And, and obviously in the tournament, uh, Lauren started out uh, in the first game hitting her first five threes. And you're going, well, it's a great time to do that. And, and, and obviously Taylor, uh, with no doubt, saved her best basketball for the end of the year. And she'd always done for us what we need to do from the point guard spot with regard to turnovers and assist and getting us into what we need to do. But the dimensions that she added to her game with the national tournament, I think, caught people off guard. They were playing her to not be as much of a scorer, and she made people uh, pay for that on two or three nights, especially in the semifinal game and the national championship game. So, you know, it's, again, it's just it, it could have been anybody. Um, and the great thing is we, we had the type of team that – that we could always expect someone, and that was the key. Several seniors on this team this year, and you go from a player like Emily Davis, who's been here four years, to a player like Nicolette Smith, who's only here a half season this yeah. year, really on the court. What impact did the seniors have, and how did they come together as a group and really maintain focus this year? Well, I think the key of our success was our senior class. And, um, and you're right, there are some of them that are true seniors in terms of being here four years, and some kids that have transferred in and been here too, and some like Nicolette that was here for a semester. I think that's a tremendous tribute to our kids that they were able to pull together, develop the chemistry you have to develop. The, you know, it's not all about just talent. You know, we obviously were one of the more talented teams there, but I thought we were also one of the teams that you could tell our kids loved each other and, and respected each other and were bought into the team uh, doing better than the individual. And for that to happen with the kind of uh, challenges we have on our team in terms of transfer kids and, and everybody mixing says a lot about our kids. Uh, you know, that, that's a tribute to them. Uh, several players that will be eligible next year as well to come back. Lauren will come back. Uh, Desiree Jeffries is a junior. You have Kayla McKenzie and Kara Pugh. The core of this team coming back, what does that say about next year's squad? Well, it's just like every year here. You know, uh, whether it be three or four kids or five or six kids, um, we'll always have a, a nucleus of returners that know what's going on, that uh, continue to help the program. Uh, progress forward and then there's names out there of kids that we don't know who they are yet that will be here that will that will try to fill the shoes of the kids that left and uh, it's kind of a juggernaut um, I don't ever call it rebuilding years it's just reloading years and and at OCU we're fortunate enough with our tradition uh, that we just will have the opportunity to reload again when you look back on this year this season this run that you had what will you remember most about this run to the national championship you know, just the, the the journey that we've been on. You know, not there. You know, I can sit down and reflect on probably some special moments and special situations, but just from start to finish, knowing that this team had a team chance to be special, uh, starting out playing Texas A and M and Kansas State and having the success we did in terms of competing against those teams. But just 
the whole picture, just the whole thing, and knowing that uh, for once, you know, you get to finish your season on a win, and there aren't too many people that ever get to experience a national championship, and it's a it's a lifelong memory that uh, not only the staff but the players and managers uh, you take that with you the rest of your life. No one can ever take that moment away from you. All right, we've been talking to NAIA Coach of the Year Rob Edmison. Stars win the national championship, their sixth in the program's history, and we congratulate Coach Edmison on another thank you very national much title. Thank you. That's it for this week's edition of the OCU Athletics Update. Check back every week for all the latest in OCU sports.